Hi there, my name is Jacob, member of the team here from Ubisend, and today I'm going to be just showing off and kind of discussing the power of a full page chatbot with you. Now, what is a full page chatbot? Well, very easy to explain, but rather than say a chatbot appearing in the bottom corner of the screen in a widget, it instead takes up the full page, much in the same way that my face is currently taking up a full page. However, thankfully, the full page chatbot designs are a lot nicer to look at than my faces, so we are all safe from that. But yeah, so I think the best way to show off the kind of the real power and the real flexibility of a full page chatbot is just by jumping in, making sure there's all you can see on the screen so you kind of really experience it in the same way that a user would and I'll just kind of talk through a few of the different functionalities and show off a few of the capabilities. All right, hope you enjoy. Okay, so what you can now currently see on my screen is the full page chatbot designs that I was talking to you about today. So obviously at the moment I've pre-made a conversation and I'm just going to walk you through a few different elements of the full page chatbot and kind of just really show off how a full page chatbot looks and the different ways that users can interact with it and we'll kind of, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what a full page, what a normal chatbot, sorry, a widget looks like. So I think you'll be able to see the differences and how much more impactful and immersive this experience is. So at the moment obviously I've got a few different options I can choose from here. I think, shall we? We'll start with um, booking the meeting because I think this is quite a nice way to show the interactive elements. As you can see, we've got the option to pick a time and date that works for us, and we've embedded content here. So this is just um, a HubSpot um, embedded calendar here. As you can see, the chatbot design has um, swiped over to the side, resized the page, and is able to. I'm now able to interact with this element, put meeting time in a diary, enter my details. Obviously, this is just uh, booking a meeting here, but this could be, say, purchasing a product, booking a table at a restaurant, whatever kind of interactive elements you might have on your website. You can include it within the chatbot page, and it kind of all interacts around it. But let's say, for example, I don't actually want a meeting, so. Let's say I don't want a meeting. I've changed my mind, and instead I just want to ask it a few questions. So this is kind of how, the, when you're speaking to a chatbot, the kind of typical back and forth question answer looks in the full page setting. So rather than having the full transcript, instead you're getting one message at a time, keeping everything really nice and refined and focused. So let's say I want to know about opening hours. The chatbot obviously spends a couple seconds to think, and then says we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Really nice smooth animation there, and again, it just kind of, it's the simple, here's your answer, you're not getting distracted by anything else, it's really clear information. But obviously as well, the great thing about the full page chatbot is how much more interactive it can be, so let's throw in a few interactive elements. Let's say um, I'm always enjoying breakfast, it's my favourite meal of the day, so let's say I want some breakfast ideas. As we can see now, obviously the chat was able to give me a few different breakfast ideas. We've got Eggs Benedict there, which is a solid choice. I can flick through the different options. So I've also got a salad, which is personally probably something I wouldn't be going for for breakfast, although that does look like quite a nice salad. And obviously as well, I've got the option to buy now. I can flick back through. It's kind of very interactive, nice, it's really nice experience for the user. Say if you've got quite a few different options, they're able to flick through exactly like they'd be, say, on a carousel on your website. So it's a very similar experience to that. And I think um, one of the last things I think I'll run through quickly here is I think what I'll do is I'll reset the bot so we've got these initial options which I uh, pulled together earlier. So yeah, I think um, what we'll do with the options that I pre bought earlier here is we'll probably go with something say along the lines of live chat, just so you can see what it would be like when the live chat is kind of taking place. Now the funny thing about this is obviously I'm going to be having a live chat conversation with myself here. So I'm going to be claiming the ticket off screen and then you're going to be able to see everything the user can see on screen. So I've now just claimed the ticket within inside Ubisoft and as you can see it's got Jacob Lucas has joined the chat. So let's just send a message to myself. I'll put hi there. And then that's going to come through on my side of the screen. And that's now me responding with a hello, and I'll obviously, let's say something that a live chat agent would actually say, probably not just a nice simple hello, but it would be something like, um, what can I help you with today? And then we're able to kind of see, and as you can see now, because it's within the live chat conversation, you can scroll through the different messages here, which is, um, this is really handy if it is live chat on a full page chatbot, because you might want to be able to scroll back through, refer to what the agent said, and um, be able to say, you know, look at what you've also been speaking to the agent about. So it really does kind of help, again, keep that interactive element, but whilst maintaining the immersive design, and still giving the user full control over how much information they can see, how much information they have. Really nice, really powerful. Um, another thing as well is we've got this alert section up here. If you say um, have any notifications you might want to send to all your chatbot users, say a flash sale or anything like that, that will just appear up in that alert section, just in a very similar way to a Facebook notification or another social media app platform. Users can click on that, they'll say, oh, there's a sale on, didn't quite realize that, and then they'll be able to talk to your chatbot, say, about the sale on breakfast items you have that we were looking at earlier, and be able to go from there and make a purchase that they might not have already made because they're in such an immersive window, there's no other distractions, they're only seeing exactly what you want them to see. 
So that's kind of the full page chatbot designs. I hope you've all enjoyed them. And I've just got a few other things I want to speak to you about very briefly, but I think we'll cut back to my face while I do that. Okay, so that was the full page chatbot kind of in a nutshell. We showed off a bit of the functionality, you kind of saw how it looked, you got to understand the interactive elements of it and how it kind of differs from a typical widget chatbot. What I would also like to say, and um, if you're a member of Ubisend, you'll probably already know this, that um, the conversations that I was having with the full page chatbot could also be had on, say, a typical widget chatbot in the bottom right corner of the screen, a Facebook Messenger chatbot, uh, one on your employee portal. There's no need to kind of create different conversations depending upon the style of chatbot you have. Instead, all you need to do is create a single conversation and then your chatbot is going to be able to use that whether it's a full page widget or a um, say it's embedded within content or it's on say an employee portal that's all I did I just reused a conversation I'd already made for a previous video and just opened it up on the full page bot I hope you enjoyed this video if you do ever have any questions about chatbot technology feel free to throw it down in um, your question down in the comments and if you do want to see a little bit more of the Ubisoft platform maybe see about how you can customize the designs of the full page chatbot or see about the integrations that we've got on offer um, head over to ubisend.com forward slash demo to be able to kind of have a little bit of a tour. And also as well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're releasing new content all the time and you definitely don't want to miss it. All right, thank you and goodbye.